Yo YouTube boy Pre, it is your boy ZVG and today we're going to be talking about increased rates for the global version for My Hero Academia The Strongest Hero. So with that said, let's jump into this. Alright, so there has been a lot of talk in the community right now about the increase rate and the pretty drama with the global version coming in the next two weeks, right? So there's a closed beta out right now only for European players. I did get accepted to the beta but I literally cannot log in, I can't download the game because I am not from Europe so yeah, that fucking sucks. But other than that, there has been a quite a few changes towards the global version different from the Taiwanese version or the Taiwan version I should say. So the biggest change right now is the increased rates. So on the Taiwan version, it's 0.6% for an S tier character, but on the global version, it's actually 1.2% for an S tier character. I mean, double the rates, I'm all for it, right? But it comes at a price. So in the normal banner, right? The normal banner on Taiwan, it's six multis to get a guaranteed S tier character. But on the global version, it's 10 multis to get a guaranteed S tier character from the normal banner right now this isn't a huge change at all like you guys should not be caring about this at all because first of all no one should be spending any amount of money or tickets or anything on the normal banner but the normal banner is garbage do not summon on it if you get blue tickets from in the game fine but do not spend your hero coins for blue tickets to summon on the normal banner that's just you're asking to fuck over your account at that point right but for the limited banner, it's actually 7 multis now to get the guaranteed S tier character. Now 7 multis and 1.2% that sounds better than 0.6% um, and 6 multis to me guys. Like I don't know about you but I actually love this change right now. So we get double the rates at the cost of 1 extra multi for pity for the limited character banners. Now <laughs> that is phenomenal bro. So honestly I was kind of worried that they would change way too much stuff from the Taiwan version um, when it came to global but it looks like they're actually making positive changes from the Taiwan version and putting them in global so I'm happy for this I'm happy for the increased rates I'm happy for the you know the, the one extra multi I mean I don't really care like it's literally just one extra multi now if it was 10 multis for the limited character that would be um, garbage but 7 multis one extra from the Taiwan version I'm not gonna complain about it but we do get increased rates so I will take that and yeah let me know if you guys like this change if you guys do let me know why you like it if you guys don't like it let me know why you don't like it so yeah make sure you guys subscribe like comment all that good stuff and make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you guys can never miss a my hero academia the strongest hero upload from me here on the channel because i will be covering this game extensively over its lifespan so yeah guys make sure you guys subscribe but with that said, I am ZVG and I will catch you guys in the next My Hero Academia, the strongest CEO video. Peace out and one love guys.